All right, in this video, we're gonna go over kind of the initial setup of our site. So now, on pretty much every site I build, or I, I will say 100% of the sites I build, I use WordPress. Um, it's by far the easiest tool to use. It doesn't require you know much coding or building from scratch. Um, it's pretty much a standard. So I recommend using WordPress. Um, I'm not gonna go over installing WordPress. I host pretty much the majority of my domains with hostgator.com. I'll put a link under this video. Uh, when you get a HostGator um, package, hosting package, you simply add on your domain, and then they have a tool called Fantastico, which will actually install WordPress for you. So I don't really feel the need to go over it. If you've never installed WordPress and you're unfamiliar with that, um, just simply do a Google search with whatever, whatever hosting company you use, and then just put you know HostGator install WordPress, and there's you know tons of tutorials out there that'll walk you through it. HostGator has tutorials, uh, go on YouTube. Um, it's pretty easy. So I'm not gonna go over that because you can get that information pretty much freely wherever you want. Um, so after you install WordPress, there is a couple things you want to change right off the bat. Um, number one, if we go to settings and then we go to permalinks, we wanna take, it, take the default off because it'll just um, do uh, golfswinghq.com and then it'll put a question mark, a P and equals a number. Not very SEO friendly. We want to do the post name. So just click on post name right here and click save changes. We also want to go up to um, posts and we will trash the initial post and then go to pages and we can trash um, the page that comes with it. Now, a couple of things we wanna do is we're gonna to wanna to put kind of a nicer theme on here and also install some plugins. Um, so if we go to plugins and we click on add new, um, one that I really like is um, Yoast SEO. So it's just a, an SEO plugin to help with your SEO. Um, so it's just Yoast SEO. Uh, so if we type that in, hit search plugins, we will see, uh, you don't want this first one, you actually want, okay, so the official name is WordPress SEO by Yoast. So that's WordPress SEO by Yoast. We can hit install now. I'll just hit okay. And then we will also activate the plugin. So that one is all ready to go. And then we also want to add a couple other plugins. So we can go to plugins, add new, and then we can search. And another one I like to do is called W3 Total Cache. So we just type in W3 Total Cache, search plugins, and it's the first one right here. And what this basically does is it helps speed up WordPress. Um, you know, one thing Google looks into now is the speed of your website. Uh, faster loading website is better. Um, the faster it loads, the less people will kind of um, come to it and initially leave. If it takes forever to load, you'll it can hurt your bounce rate, which is another thing Google looks into. Um, so it's just a you know something you can install to kind of help speed up WordPress a bit. So I'll hit install now, hit OK, and we can activate the plugin. And then the other thing is the AkiSmet here. That'll basically get rid of a lot of the spam um, comments that show up on your blog. So you can also activate that. And then you just need to add in your um, API key, which if I hit that, if you don't have one, you can hit create a new one. They're free to do. Um, I already have one, so I'll just enter it here. And then we can go down here to SEO and this is the um, Yoast plugin. And we can make a couple changes to it. Um, for one, we can go to Titles and Metas. And if we go to the Home, we can actually set the um, title tag for our homepage and our meta description. I'm not gonna do that at the moment. I'll do that when I actually create that page. Um, but if we go to Post Types, um, for Posts, I like it to be just the title of the post. So I delete everything except for the percent, percent, title, percent, percent. Um, same thing for pages. 
I'll get rid of everything after title. So again, it's just percent, percent, title, percent, percent, just deleting all that other one. Uh, we don't have to really worry about media. I'm just gonna hit save changes. Um, with the Yoast plugin, it also comes with a sitemap, so you don't have to actually um, create, or you don't have to install a separate plugin for that. Um, so that's already done for you. Um, and that's really the initial steps for getting the plugins ready. I don't use a whole lot of plugins. Um, Yoast is a lot of plugins combined in one. And then the W3 Total Cache will help speed up the site a bit. Now we can go to Appearance. And we're going to want to add a new theme. Now, one thing I will say is there's a lot of themes out there. There's a lot of free themes out there. <clears throat> One thing with a free theme is you never quite know what you're getting. Um, you never quite know who developed it, how often they update it, if they've kind of done anything, you know, any kind of linking with it. They might have stuffed some links in there. You never know. Uh, so you can use one of the standard WordPress themes. They're actually probably some of the better free ones. I personally um, like to use a paid theme. It's called Canvas. It's by Woo Themes. And I'll just jump over here. Uh, let me shrink this down a bit. And you can see it here. Um, it's just a nice clean theme. I can go to the demo here and you can see exactly what it looks at. Again, just a nice clean theme that lets you customize a lot, um, a lot of options with it. It, of course, isn't free. It's $99. So I'm not going to say you have to go buy it. Um, if you're doing this on a budget, of course, you can use one of the free themes. I personally like to use it. That's what I'm going to use in the demo. If you want to buy it, you know, you certainly can. I use it a ton. It's just a lot easier to use. Um, if you have a theme you want to use, you simply hit Add New. We can hit Upload. Then we can choose a file. So I just chose the Canvas theme. I'll install that. <clears throat> And then I can click activate. And I'll be all set with my theme as soon as that loads. There we go. Um, if I go back to appearance here, if you want to go the free route, um, again, you can hit add new. You can take a look at some of their featured ones. Um, one thing we do want is we don't, I don't really like the themes kind of with these featured images here. I like it to just show um, you can just you know just a one page that's kind of how we're going to set up the site so I like a theme that is more like you know again the WordPress one is set up like that um, I don't see any other ones in there featured uh, we can go to you know recently updated um, again you can look at all their different themes again I like one you know this one isn't too fancy but I like it where it just shows the content on the home page as opposed to all this extra stuff like on this one um, again, there's so many free ones out there, it's hard for me to tell you exactly which one to go get. I'm just telling you which one I like to use. And you can go one column, two column, uh, responsive, so it works on other devices. Any theme you want, you can use. As we get into, in the later videos, actually building the site, you'll kind of see what we're doing with the, th with the site, and that'll give you a better idea of what type of theme to use. Um, but if you're going to use a free one, you know there's nothing wrong with just sticking with uh, the ones WordPress gives you, you know they're good, you know they're updated. Um, nothing wrong with those, but again, I'm going to use Canvas. And with that, we pretty much are done with our initial setup. Um, as we start adding some content, I'll kind of show you how we're going to tweak and change the site. But go ahead, you know, get your hosting, get WordPress installed, uh, make those initial changes, add the plugins, choose the theme, and you'll be ready to go on to the next video.